Well, everyone, this is Professor Fair here with a few tips and tricks for you as you study for your exam. It's of course very strange not being able to spend time with you in the regular office hours and people coming in and working on my chalkboard. So I thought I would try to just give you a few uh, pointers that might help you uh, as you prepare. Um, so what should you be studying for the test? Well, I would recommend that you review the lecture materials the lab materials and your homework materials. A great way to study for the exam is to practice uh, solving problems that you've already had a look at. Uh, hopefully in reviewing your problems, it's gonna help you to see that uh, there are certain patterns to how they can be solved and um, you may find it useful to uh, internalize how we might integrate together all of the different things that we've learned over the semester so far. Um, sometimes students also ask, you know, uh, should I reread the book or what else should I do? Um, definitely looking over the material in the book is great. Uh, what this is especially useful for is seeing the information perhaps presented in a slightly different way. Uh, sometimes people are going to hear it or understand it a little bit better when somebody else tells them in a different way. Uh, so that's a great resource for you for that. Um, other things you might do, have a look at your note card, make sure those are well organized and available for your use during the test, because those, of course, you may use. Um, other things that might be helpful for you to just keep in mind is um, just keep your notes nice and organized, so because, of course, uh, working online time is going to be important, so you need to be sure that you have everything um, ready for your use um, as soon as you download that exam and get started with it. Let's see, I've gotten a couple of questions. Um, let's see, students have asked, um, let's see, what they can use for um, materials on the test. So it is an open book test. You can use your book, your notes, you can use the solutions to the problems that you've solved. But of course, isn't allowed is consulting with the TAs or with others in the class or anybody else uh, for answers on how to program. Can you use the internet? Yeah, it's possible to use the internet, although um, that's a kind of a, kind of a Pandora's box. Um, sometimes the things we find on the internet are not always the uh, best, most correct, or most expedient solutions. Uh, we are limiting ourselves to the things which we have learned in the class. So if you use some library or other that we have not covered in the class, then I will not accept that, uh, that answer. So really, I don't really recommend trying to Google these things during the test, to be totally honest. Um, let's see, I can't really think of too much else, um, you know, other than just, you know, get a good night's sleep, um, eat well, and, um, you know, we're gonna just work through the test and do the best you can. It is oftentimes, one of the more challenging aspects of the course, but also a very good opportunity for learning and growth. Uh, of course, if we didn't have tests, you probably wouldn't be uh, working so hard to study and, and learn all these things. So um, it's always really great to see how much you've learned and uh, also to identify areas that you may need to improve upon while we still have much opportunity to do that. So um, it's really great. Um, I look forward to looking over your exams and seeing all that you've learned and working with you throughout the rest of the semester to uh, improve your Python skills. All right, good luck studying and I hope to see you in some of the extended office hours. Bye-bye.